All right, welcome back to the Lone Posse channel. Today we are changing a starter on a Kawasaki FX850 V. The new starter number is 21163-0755. And that is a genuine Kohler, the real deal, boys. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is disconnect your battery. Take your negative terminal off. Now, at first I was wondering if this starter was actually gonna fit out of here. I was thinking I was gonna need to shift the motor over. It turns out it does actually fit between there. You can see it's kind of a tight, tight little space in there. And the only thing you need to undo is your positive. The other one is a little clip. So that does make it a little easier. Let's see if the original, yeah, the original has the little clip on it. Not that you can see it in the oil, but there it is we were having a no start issue and the battery was not the problem turned out to be the starter so it does fit out you do not have to shift the engine and the new starter was 225 dollars now i did find it a little cheaper i found it for 215 but that was a uh, wait a week for it so 225 is well worth it to get back making the money mo money mo money but that's it that's the old starter see if there's any numbers nope no numbers today but that's it it does fit out of there between the hydraulic pumps you do not have to take the uh, engine loose and surprisingly you do not have to take the whole top end of the motor off so this Kawasaki starter change has turned out pretty easy. Undo the battery, undo your one bolt, undo your top two bolts on your starter, one here, another one over here. And I thought the starter was held on by a third bolt, though I couldn't find any bolts on here. But it turned out it just needed a couple good whacks with the hammer. It was kind of stuck in there, been there a while, so... That is how you change a starter on a Hustler Super Z Hyperdrive. Alright boys, be good or be good at it. Yee!